Excuse me, could you just take a minute to talk no. to your... You just talked no. to somebody. I would like to know why we don't have a ceasefire yet. I'm going to 123 with a markup, and it's important to not be disrupted. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Right now. Okay. Thank Excuse you. Excuse me, could you just take a minute to talk no. to your... Can you please... Why can't we get a ceasefire resolution in Washington, D.C.? I don't know. Why won't you agree to one? I've said many times why. Well, can you tell us now? We no. have students who've never heard you before. No, because I've said many times. Well, say what? it again. Yeah. How many know. children have to die in Gaza before you will agree to a ceasefire resolution? We do not have a role in terms of international relations or international but affairs. But in the past, you've pr passed anti-apartheid rules for South Africa. I understand. So, so, why so what's understand? the difference? As I have said to others many times, this issue is very controversial. I don't recall that apartheid was controversial within the district. Yeah. I appreciate that you don't agree with me. But uh, that's my position. Is How many more children need to die? Majority of DC if we were to pass a ceasefire, ceasefire resolution, that would make a difference in terms it of would, Israel? Yes, yes it and would. Because that? it would Isn't send a message to Congress. Yeah. DC, we, in a couple of weeks. Weeks. The, the residents want this. Resolution. It's controversial Excuse because me. of outside interests. Ceasefire interest. now. You just um, talked to Phil Mendelson here, who is the chair of the city council. Uh, in Washington, D.C., and refuses to bring a ceasefire resolution. What did you have to say to him? I think it's ridiculous that he thinks that we're not affected by this, and like students. Helpful. And every time we go on Instagram, that's what we see. But the idea that we're not affected by this, like we've been silenced by our school to, talking about Palestine, like, it's just like not true. And the idea that it's a message doesn't matter is like just so undemocratic. He said the same talking points that this doesn't affect us. There is no reason for DC Council to pass a ceasefire resolution. If DC Council passes a ceasefire resolution, it sends a clear message to Congress, which is in our city. The people of the United States are in support of a ceasefire resolution and that it, ha it should happen right now. A majority of Democratic voters, which he supposedly represents, at this point are in support of a ceasefire re resolution and he's still being very willfully ignorant, ignoring his constituents. It's ridiculous to think that this is considered a controversial topic. Mm -hmm. uh, this is our tax money going over to them, right? To, to something that we don't support. And it's very frustrating seeing so much happen when it's not what we want. It's so frustrating seeing lives being taken in our name when that's not what we want. I heard you bring up that Netanyahu will be visiting the city. Yes. How do you relate that? To because it sends a strong message that he's not welcome in our city and he is a war criminal who should not be allowed in DC. Police department should arrest him as soon as he comes in here for war crimes. There are many of us today that have been flooding the halls of our city council in Washington, D.C., asking them to pass a resolution calling for a ceasefire in Gaza. We've been asking for months with no success. So today is a day to really push them before they go on recess. 164 cities around this country have already passed resolutions. D.C., which is vast majority Democrats, 80% of Democrats want a ceasefire resolution. And so we are asking, why not here in D.C.? D.C. Council, ceasefire now! D.C. Council, ceasefire now! D.C. Council, ceasefire now! D.C. Council, ceasefire now!